So uh, Radio Man asks, um, so will the dipole antenna outperform, say, a woofer for coil vertical? I have a woofer or a coil that works well, and I was wondering if a dipole would work better. Depends so, on the day of the week. You know, it really does. It really does. Yeah. It's um, So a dipole, you know, is a half-wave radiator, a quarter wave on either side, and say a vertical, you know, of like the woofer or coil, in its ideal configuration would be a quarter wave vertical with a with the ground network um you know i i think correct me if i'm wrong but unless unless your dipole antenna is hung at say a, an optimal height for the for the frequency i think you're probably they're probably going to be pretty equal you know the vertical the quarter wave vertical and the dipole are going to be pretty equal in performance so. Right. So a quarter a quarter wave above the ground is usually where you want a dipole. Mm -hmm. So well, a half, half, half wave. Yeah, half wave above yeah. the ground. Yeah. So for port operations, that's a little difficult. Maybe mm -hmm. 10 and 15 meters you can you can accomplish that. 20 and 40 meters, that's a pretty hard, that's a pretty hard task. Mm -hmm. Right. So for what it's worth, yeah, you can get a dipole up there. You can get an end fed up in the air. You can get a lot of things in the air. How much time are you going to spend setting it up versus operating is one. Yep. Right? Whereas Wolf River Coil and some of these other uh, quarter, verticals that you can just slap up in a couple minutes, you can get on the air. There's, They perform great. They really do. Just watch Just watch Michael. You know, he's yeah. he worked. He was in some little podunk park and he worked oh, I'm stuttering already. He worked Australia twice on two bands in 45 minutes. <laughs> okay. They work. They work oh, yeah. really good. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you know, I, I don't think going through the extra work of trying to get a dipole up the air is even worth it worth it sometimes. No. And I, the key to the key really for making your vertical antenna perform is in your ground network. Um mm -hmm. You know how you can get the get those radios out, how they're spaced. You know how many you've you've got, and that that, that that's the key for an effective um, vertical antenna. And if you can optimize mm -hmm. your ground network, I think a good vert. I, I think you're gonna you're gonna really um, give a dipole a run for the money. Yep. So, you know, Matthew. The speaking of 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 the the dipoles, I uh, have a horizontal dipole eight feet off the ground, hit forty seven countries so far. I think an Antron ninety nine in the air will make a big difference. Um, probably not. <laughs> there well, again, it uh, appears to be working. Yeah, I. Um, uh, yeah, eight feet off the ground. I mean, that's very endless, so you know it goes straight up. But the right band conditions and mm -hmm. the right situation, even endless, is there's there's a theory of thought that an endless antenna hung terribly running qrp at the right point in the solar cycle you will work the world better than a thousand watts on a tower the way the way that the uh propagation works okay mm -hmm. while a majority so, of your rf energy is still going to go upwards mm -hmm. um you're, there's still going to be a, a a certain component of it that will go out in an optimal yeah. uh radiation pattern so, and then what so, goes up doesn't necessarily have to reflect yeah. down right away sometimes Based on some of the some of these atmospheric conditions in the trap or in the um, ionosphere, it may go up and it may go out almost like a mushroom cloud. Yeah. Okay. So now that we're getting towards the peak of the solar cycle, eight feet off the ground may actually work pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, and you know the the vertical antenna. I think you know, like I said, with the ground network, if you can if you can optimize a ground network for it. Even though the I don't think the ant, the Antron specifies that it needs is, needs ground radials or counterpoise at all, but I I still think it's gonna it's it's gonna it would run well with one. So mm -hmm. if, if that's what you're looking for, you know, vertical antennas are it, it can be used you know very effectively for DX, um, mm -hmm. depending on how you know if you can elevate them a little bit. So it's. Um, KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.